So we've got a good look at a decent projection as to yeah. where each team is going, sure. who's in, who's out. Yeah. Obviously, things can change, and that's why we update it every week, right. but that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So I took a look at five potential first-round matchups that really caught my eye. Ooh. Inevitably, they're going to skew towards the bigger schools because... that's You end up with these matchups because there's just so much... Because you could have a first-place yeah. team from one district play a second-place team from another right. district. In the smaller school ranks, you get the first-place team playing the fourth-place team. And right. to be real honest, the first round, there's not as many upsets, quote-unquote, just because of that. So, one of them that caught my mind, 6A Division One. look... That region, Region 3, we've been talking about it all the time. That's that yeah. Houston region. Right. Uh, we're looking like we're going to get Dickinson at a Leaf taylor And right. remember, they get home field advantage, which yes. is a huge thing here. And Dickinson and a Leaf taylor is going to be a fantastic game. Dickinson, we talked to Coach John Snelson a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And they are rolling. The Gators look very, very good. Very good. Their defense, I think, it, it is really, really talented. They'll go up against an a Leaf taylor squad that is – Unbeaten and the surprise of their district. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, this is it's an A Leaf Taylor squad that I think that people may not realize is undefeated, but they are uh, they are really really dangerous. Their offense has been great. That is a classic matchup in the first they round. They have a huge game against Pearland Dawson this week, and it's going to be in my view, in my view, um, that will be only the start of what will be just a relentless gauntlet for all those teams in Region 3. Of Just a division. brutal, it's really brutal really region. Brutal. 6A Division 2. This one's interesting for a couple of reasons. Longview and Beaumont-Westbrook, okay? Yeah. Could be matching up in the first round of the playoffs. The most interesting thing is the word in the middle of them. At. At. Longview would have to travel to Beaumont-Westbrook. How long is that? Uh, let's see, Longview to Beaumont. Let's see, Longview to Beaumont is three and a half hours. Is it really that bad? 200 Holy miles. Cow. 200 miles. Now, oh. and, and and the thing is, what I, what I also like about this game is that they would also be built similarly. Sure. Longview runs the ball, grinds you out. Westbrook runs the ball, grinds you out. They probably have a little bit more speed, but they're probably not as physical. Longview's probably got a little less speed, but they're more physical. Thrilling matchup, especially on the road. In 5A, 5A Division One, we could be heading towards Edison Temple yeah. in the first round, which you want to talk about two of the most, two of the proudest programs in Texas high school football history. Yeah. Two going great at fan it, bases. Going at it in yeah. the first round. There will be 20,000 people at this oh, first yeah. round playoff yeah. matchup. Be a lot of fun. Yeah. Ennis and Temple could lock horns in the first round of the 5A Division One bracket. Again, TexasFootball.com slash projections has all these bracket projections. And again, we mentioned that when we drop down to 4A, 3A, and 2A, just because of how the playoffs are... are a lot more chalk. Yeah, it's a lot more chalk, a lot fewer games that have that are super-duper interesting. Right. But one of them, you could have out east, you could have New Boston and Mineola in 3A yeah. Division One. Yeah. Now, New Boston has not had the year that they were hoping for. But neither has Mineola. Exactly. These are two teams that I think would both admit that they've kind of underachieved a little bit. Uh, New Boston's at just 3-5. and five, But we also know what a proud program this is. Yep. Same thing with Mineola. Mineola took two losses early. They've kind of gotten their wheels back on. We know what they're about. Right. I think this has a ton of, of upset potential just because... I think a lot of teams in these in the first round we have a lot of game or a lot of teams that maybe go in and they play a team that's a, that that has a lot more pedigree than them and they get all right. Wide -eyed. That's not the, that's not the case with either of these teams. Mm -hmm. So I'm really ex interested to see that. And then down in the six man ranks, um, in yeah, the you, you pointed this one out. I went, holy cow! Yeah, in the first round, in the first round of the Texas high school football one A Division one bracket. We could have Borden County against Garden City. And if you're not a, a, a 1A fan and you don't exactly know what that means, um, let me just put it to you this way. Right now, in our rankings, texasfootball.com slash mm -hmm. rankings, we have Borden County number three, and we have Garden City number nine, Whew. which means a first-round top ten matchup. Yep. That's incredible. Right. It's incredible, and and I think that this is a that's a game that that I think will will come down to the wire. Two teams that do not like each other. Uh, I am very very excited about that in the one A bracket. There's a lot of really interesting uh, matchups that can be dissected. TexasFootball.com/slash/projections is where you can find them. Uh, we've got all the playoff brackets up, so check those out.